Hello everybody and welcome to Cool Scratch Tutorials. Today we are going to be going over a very simple and easy script for you to create your very own scrolling platformer game. In case you don't know what a scrolling platformer is, it's basically where the character will stay in the middle of the screen and the background will move behind it. It's super easy and anyone can do it. So let's just get into it. First we want to go to our create button and create our very own project. Once we're in here, let's delete uh, Scratch Cat. Basically how a scrolling game works is we're not going to really use this backdrops area. Basically how it works is instead of having backdrops, we have different sprites acting like backdrops. The more backdrop sprites, you can say, um, the more the more long, the longer the level you have is. So basically, let's just create our background sprites. I'm gonna go to paint, and maybe I'm going to fill in my area. I'm gonna make it a gradient, and let's make it like darker blue. Go from that color, maybe to that color. Oh, and it's not working, so I'm gonna convert it, convert it to bitmap. And there we go. We can see that the gradient's working. Now we are going to want to just paint another sprite. I'm going to make three of them. So I'm just going to go paint, converting to bitmap, and just pasting the same gradient. Same with the backdrop here. We just want to convert to bitmap and have the same gradient so it all looks the same. Okay, once, once we've done that, I'm just going to drag all the other sprites away, and we're left with this. I'm going to make mine sort of like a floating island game. So, what I'm going to do is maybe make different islands for my character to go on, and they'll basically hop from one to another. So let's make our character maybe start off on this kind of platform, have to jump up here, and then all the way here is where it'll end and there'll be a little stone for him to come here and then just a little platform right here now since I want it to look like an earth game I'm gonna put green in the middle but I'll do that a little later now we're going to go to this one and keep in mind that it'll basically start off where the last one started so basically we want to imagine this as our very first starting point so let's say it's just about here. Maybe I want it to go down a bit. I'm just gonna put that there. Maybe make another island up here. And then maybe a harder jump right here that you'll have to go to. Now I'm gonna go to my third one and let's pretend that it ended here. You can't really see it because one of the sprites is blocking it. I'd say it's around here. So I'm gonna maybe put one here. It'll be semi-difficult Again, I'm going to make little stepping stones and then right here. And this will be my finishing platform where you basically beat the game. Now what we want to do is make it seem like floating islands, basically. So I'm going to get a very nice green and then fill each one in. Let's see. Yes, that, that's a nice green. So I'm going to go to my paint bucket. Make sure it's a regular color, not a gradient. And then just start filling it in. Fill everything in you want to with any color you want. And I'll see you back when we get there. we've completed all of our levels this is just for looks keep in mind you can see I've created green on the outside and had a black outline this is very important that you have a black outline everywhere on every island 
or else this code won't work. So just double check and make sure you have an outline on everything. Once we've done that, we are going to want to go into our code section now and go to events, green flag clicked. We're going to go here, set Y to zero and we want it to show. Once we've created this script, what we want to do is go down to variables. We're going to want to make a variable and we are going to want to make it for all sprites. We're going to call it scroll X. Let's just grab one of these out and hide it. Let's go to uh, events, go down to controls actually, click forever, go to operators, and then drag a plus and a multiplication operator in. After we've done that, we want to go to motion and drag in a set X to block. We want to put the addition operator in and then on the very right, the multiplication inside of the addition. We want to put scroll X in the very left bar and let's drag it into the forever loop. Now we want to set this to 480. 480 is the amount of pixels there is an entire screen. So basically the script is telling when this backdrop should move and when it should hide. Since it's the very first one, we want to multiply it by zero. Now we have the script. We are going to want to go to our backpack here and let's just drag it in our backpack. You can see that it's down here. Let's go to our second sprite and drag the same code in as well with our third sprite. Once you've done that, we can hide our backpack, go down to our sprite one, our sprite two, and our sprite three. Um, our first backdrop, we wanted to have it multiplied by zero, but for our second, we want it multiplied by one. And with our third, we want it multiplied by two. Basically, it'll tell which what at what time or what X level should each background come in. At. So if we click the green flag, we can only see Sprite one here. Sprite two is all the way in that direction. Once we have all three of these codes in every single one of our sprites, we want to go to our very first code and we are going to want to go to when green flag clicked, we are going to go down to our variables, set, scroll X to, let's duplicate this right here, to scroll X plus 480 times zero. This is just basically resetting it every time we restart the game. Now that we've gotten every single one of our backgrounds, we are going to want to create our main character that will basically move. So. Let's go to choose a sprite, paint, and I'm just going to create a very little simple sort of happy face character. I'm gonna make color yellow. Turn the brightness up a bit. Okay. Make him a bit bigger. Then I'm going to draw an eye and a face on him. There's my little character. I kind of like him. I do think he's a bit big, so I'm going to set his size down to maybe 60. There we go. That looks a good size. Now we are going to want to create a very simple walking script for him. So let's go to when these keys pressed. Let's make it right arrow and left arrow. We want to we want to go down to our scroll variable and we want to drag these two in. When right arrow, let's change scroll X by positive three, left arrow by negative three. So basically when we do this, when we move to the right, it'll basically shift everything over to the right instead of him actually moving to the left, the same thing. So if we try it out, we can see that if I go like this, 
it is he is going a separate direction. What we actually want to do is just change these up. That was my bad. So right arrow will change x by negative 3. Left arrow will change it by positive 3. So if I press the right arrow, you can see that it's slowly. We want to change this to scroll x. So when we press the green flag, we can see all the backgrounds are moving. And if we look closely, that's the start. Down here is the start of our second sprite. So we can see slowly moving, but it's a bit slow. So I'm going to change this to maybe negative 6 and positive 6. And if we see here, we can actually make him go back as well as to the right. You can see it just the backgrounds moving, not him, which is very, very cool. We can see now we're beginning on our third character, and then we can see the end platform. Now, once we've got the left and right arrow set up, we kind of want to create a gravity script so he'll always be falling down onto the islands and not just floating in the air. So, green flag clicked. Let's make him start around here. What we want to do is go down to variables, make a variable. We're going to call this gravity and just select it for this sprite only. Let's drag in a set gravity block, events, go to green flag clicked, and set gravity to zero. And then forever, we want to go down to our variables, change gravity by negative one, and then go to motion and change y by, go back to variables, and change y by gravity. So basically this was, this is always a gravity script Basically, the longer it falls, it'll always fall. So if you click it, we can see he just goes to the bottom. But that's the problem. We want it to be on the island, not the bottom of the screen. So in this forever loop here, we want to go to if then statement. If we want to go to our sensing touching color block and drag that into the if statement. This is where it was important. We can select the teardrop tool and select the black on the outline of every island. And then we're going to go to set the variables and set gravity to zero. If we do this and let's let's always make him start at the top. So when green flag click, let's say go to wherever this is, which is 146 on uh, negative 6 146. So he'll always start off in the air. Set gravity to zero. And we want to change y by 1. We can see he is just on top of that block. But if we go off of it, he will start falling or he gets on the bottom. If we don't want him to be on the bottom, we want to go to our sprites, go to costumes, and we want to make everything not black down here. So let's just change it to a different shade of green, maybe. Maybe a darker, like this. So if you don't want them on the bottom, I'm just gonna trace everywhere where there's the dark green and make it seem like a part of an island. So I'll see you back once everything is dark green and only the tops are black. Once you've filled every single bottom part with a dark green, we can try our code out once more. So if we go back to here, we can see that if we go to the very edge, he'll only be on the edge, but he won't stick to the bottom green down here. Let's go to the beginning. He is hovering on top of the islands every time we move, and then he'll fall. Perfect. Now we want to set up a code for him to jump. So let's go here when space key pressed we want to go up here and then change y by 10 so each time we test it he will jump up slightly but he'll still fall 
What we don't want to do, see how he barely jumped up? It's because of this script right here, changing his y by 1 every time. So what we want to do is go down to variables, and then we want to set gravity to 10. So if we go here, oh, he started off over there. Let's try this again. He'll be on that block, and we can see it's a very smooth thing of him jumping. So we can jump from island to island, and then boom, and he'll be jumping. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you learned something new, be sure to drop a like and maybe even subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later in the next video.